Imagine turning every single blog post into multiple social media updates without writing a single word. In this video, I'll show you how to scrape any content from your blog and instantly transform it into posts for Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter X, Facebook, and Pinterest, all on autopilot. Whether you're a blogger, a business owner, or a content creator, this automation can handle all your social media platforms for you, saving you hours of manual work. Watch as I break down how to scrape content from your blog, summarize it, then create an eye-catching unique image for each of your social media accounts, all without lifting a finger, and post it automatically to your social media accounts. We'll be using Google Sheets as a trigger to track new blog posts, but for those who want something even more seamless, I'll also show you how to use an RSS feed for real-time scraping without lifting a finger. Let's dive in with Google Sheets first. Before we dive into the step-by-step -step setup, let me quickly show you what this automation looks like in action. Here, I'm about to run the automation I've set up. With just one click, you can see how it pulls content, processes it, and automatically posts it to all of my social media accounts. Check out the results. Here's the Instagram post. Here's the tweet or X post. Here's the Facebook post. Here's the LinkedIn post. And here's the Pinterest pin image post. All of these went live within seconds without me having to write or post anything manually. Today, I'm diving into how you can automate your entire social media strategy in just a few simple steps. If you've never set up an AI automation before, don't worry, I've got you covered. If you want to follow along or try this setup yourself, check the description below for details on how to access the template, CSV file, and prompts I used. They're there to help make the process easier if you're interested. Here's what we're going to build together. We'll start by using Google Sheets as the trigger for scraping content from your blog. Every time you add a new blog post link to the sheet, it will kick off the automation. Next, we'll have AI read the article. For this, we're using a tool called Perplexity AI. Unlike OpenAI and Claude AI, which rely on pre-existing data, usually up to six months old, Perplexity AI has a major advantage. It can access the web in real time. This means it can pull up the most up-to-date information and summarize your blog content immediately after it's published, giving you more accurate and current summaries for your social media posts. Then route the summary to different ChatGPT assistants, each responsible for creating specific posts, one assistant for each social media account, such as Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Finally, it will automatically post across all your social media channels. It might sound complex, but trust me, make.com makes it much easier than it seems. You can sign up for their forever free plan using the link below. First things first, download the blueprint I've created for you. You'll find the link in the description below. Once you've downloaded the file, head over to your make.com account. After you're logged in, look for the Scenarios tab on the dashboard, then click on the Create a New Scenario button. But instead of starting from scratch, select Import Blueprint from the menu. Look for the JSON file. This will instantly populate all the necessary modules, connections, and workflows into your make.com account, so you're ready to follow along with the rest of the tutorial. This saves you from having to manually set up each step. Step 1 setting up Google Sheets to track blog content. First, let's set up Google Sheets as the trigger for scraping content from your blog. Every time you publish a new post, you'll drop the link into the Google Sheet, which will then trigger the automation to create social media content. Here's how to get started. Create a new Google Sheet. Each row should include the blog post link. Set up the trigger in your automation tool. In make.com, Create a new scenario and choose Google Sheets as the trigger. Set it to watch new rows, so the workflow starts automatically when you add a new blog post link. Now, since I don't have my own blog, let's assume we're using a recent blog about AI marketing for testing purposes. We'll take this article and turn it into five unique social media posts, each with a custom image created specifically for that platform. Here's how it works in Make. Select the Google Sheet. 
In make.com, click the blue button to find your spreadsheet in Google Drive. Once selected, choose the correct sheet, in this case, sheet one. I set the limit to one, so the automation handles one blog post at a time. Adjust the scheduling. By default, the automation runs every 15 minutes, but I only want to post once per day on social media. So change the interval to every day to control the frequency of your posts. Once you've configured these settings, click OK to finalize everything. Now we have the trigger set up and we're ready to move on. If you'd prefer not to manually update Google Sheets, don't worry, you can use an RSS feed to automate the process. I'll cover that option later, but just know that an RSS feed will automatically pull new content from your blog without any manual input. Step two, scraping and summarizing blog content with perplexity. We'll scrape your blog post and summarize it using perplexity AI. The reason we're using perplexity AI is that unlike ChatGPT or Claude AI, it pulls real-time data from the web, ensuring your content is always fresh and relevant. Here's how to set it up. Pass the blog link from your Google Sheet into Perplexity AI. Perplexity will scrape the blog post and generate concise summaries. Then, our automation will use ChatGPT Assistant to format the content for each social platform, whether it's a short tweet for Twitter, X, a longer LinkedIn post, or an Instagram caption. Setting up Perplexity AI in Make.com. Create a free Perplexity AI account. After signing up, you'll land on your dashboard. The next step is to get your API key. Get your API key. Click the gear icon at the bottom of the Perplexity dashboard. From the top menu, select API. Here, you'll find your API key and you can generate new one as well. Copy it. Add the API key to make.com. In make.com, Press add a module and search for perplexity. Select the create a chat completion module. If it's your first time using perplexity in Make, click add at the top, then paste in your API key and press save. Configure the settings. Model, leave it on llama dash, 3.1 dash, sonar dash, small dash, 128k dash online, which works well for most cases. You can experiment with other models if needed. Content. Tell Perplexity what you want it to do. In this case, you'll write something like, summarize this and start your output with a headline. Then add the URL from column A of your Google Sheet watch. New rows module. Role. Set this to user. Tokens and temperature. You can leave these at default. Tokens determine the length of the message. Temperature controls how creative the response is. Default settings work fine here. Connect the blog link. In the content section, instruct Perplexity to summarize the blog post. Select the URL column from your Google Sheet as the input for Perplexity. This will pull the blog link you previously added to your Google Sheet. Save your work. Make.com doesn't autosave, so be sure to manually save your progress. Test the automation. Click Run once to test and ensure everything works correctly. Check the output. Use the magnifying glass to inspect the results. Expand the Messages section to see if Perplexity successfully summarized the article. Verify that it pulls the correct blog link from your sheet and automatically moves to the next row for future runs. Once the summary is confirmed, Perplexity AI is now set to scrape and summarize each blog post for you. Step four, connecting OpenAI for content customization. Now it's time to set up your OpenAI account so you can use ChatGPT for content customization. If you don't have an account yet, follow these simple steps. OpenAI requires a $5 deposit to activate your API, but don't worry. API calls are inexpensive and that $5 will last a long time. Go to openai.com, head over to openai.com. On the home page, navigate to the products section, then click on API, sign up or log in. If you already have an open AI account, simply log in. If not, click sign up and create a new account. Access your API dashboard. Once logged in, 
Click on the API tab from the menu. Create your API key. A pop-up will appear asking you to name your API key. After naming it, click Create Key. OpenAI will now generate your unique API key. Copy and store your API key. Make sure to copy and store this API key somewhere secure, as you won't be able to see it again once the pop-up is closed. Step 5. Distribute to multiple ChatGPT agents. Next, we'll distribute the summarized content to different ChatGPT agents, customized for each social media platform. I've created a GPT assistant for Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. Each agent is tailored to match the tone of voice, content type, and branding specific to each platform. You can further customize these agents for your business or niche. Step six, connect your social media accounts. Once the AI content is ready, the next step is to connect your social media accounts. For Instagram, you'll need to link your Facebook business page to your Instagram account. LinkedIn and Facebook are pretty straightforward, but Twitter, now X, requires some additional steps. You can follow the detailed instructions in the Make Help Center. They have a step-by-step -step guide on connecting Twitter. Step seven, adding images with DALE3. We're also adding AI-generated images through DALE3 from ChatGPT. With your OpenAI API set up, you can use DALL-E to create different images for each platform. I recommend asking DALL-E to avoid generating any text in the images because it's not quite accurate at that yet. You can create separate images for Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, all tailored to your specific posts. Step eight, assigning generated content and images to social media posts. In this step, we'll assign the results generated by the ChatGPT and DALL-E modules to your social media post modules. Each platform will use the content and images created earlier in the workflow. Instagram, business, create a photo post module photo URL. Assign the value from OpenAI, generate image module number eight, data URL. This will be the image generated by DALL-E for your Instagram post. Caption. Use the result from OpenAI image and assistant module number seven. This will be the text caption created by ChatGPT for the Instagram post. Facebook pages, create a post module message, text. For the message, use the value generated by OpenAI image and assistant module number nine. This is the text content that will accompany your Facebook post. Photo, for the image, assign the value from OpenAI generate image module number 10 data URL. This will upload the doll e image as part of your Facebook post. LinkedIn, content post module. Text content. Use the result from OpenAI image and assistant module number 11 for your LinkedIn post content. This will be the text accompanying the post on LinkedIn. Twitter, X, create a tweet module text content. Assign the value from OpenAI image and assistant module number five. This will be the text used in your tweet. For the Pinterest image pin post, go to the image URL section in your Pinterest pin setup. Select the doll E3 data URL number 32. This is the URL for the image created by doll E3, and it will be automatically inserted into your pin. Choose the board where you want the pin to appear. You can either select an existing board or create a new one. Make sure the board fits the theme of the pin for better engagement and reach. In the title field, select the value from GPT assistant module number 34. This module generates the perfect title for your Pinterest pin based on the content of your blog or post. The title will be automatically filled with a catchy and relevant phrase, ensuring it's optimized for Pinterest searches. In the description field, use the result from GPT assistant module number 34. This module crafts a concise, engaging description for your pin that will capture attention and increase clicks. This description is customized to match the title and the content of your blog or website, making sure your pin stands out. In the URL field, pull the link from your Google Sheet. This should be the URL of your blog post, product page, or any other destination you want to send users to. If you don't want to use the Google Sheet, you can manually input any URL where you want to direct traffic. 
Once someone clicks the image from your Pinterest pin, they'll be redirected to this URL, driving more traffic to your desired page. As promised, if you're looking for a more hands-off approach, using an RSS feed is a great alternative. If updating a Google Sheet feels like too much work, you can switch to an RSS feed, which will automatically detect new blog posts and trigger your workflow without manual updates. Here's how to set it up. Create an RSS feed for your blog using a service like rss.app. They offer a seven-day free trial to get you started. Simply enter your blog URL on rss.app, generate the XML feed, and copy the XML link. Link the RSS feed to make.com to automatically trigger content scraping and image generation whenever new blog content is published. Keep in mind that after the seven-day free trial, rss.app's pricing starts at $8.32 per month, but it's a worthwhile investment for a fully automated workflow. Once you've set up the RSS feed in Make, watch the tutorial video I've linked in the description to walk you through the rest of the steps. And that's it. Once everything is connected, you'll be able to automatically post across all platforms with customized text and images. This setup will help you save tons of time and let you focus on growing your business or creating content. If you found this content helpful, leave a comment below saying AI automation, letting me know that you like this type of content. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials on AI automation and systems that you can use to optimize your business. I've got plenty more tips and tricks coming your way to help you streamline your workflow.